Hi there guys and girls, welcome to FF442, my name is Ben and today I'm going to be covering how to connect to your server. This is a question being posted in by a user named Tadark, he says cannot connect to multiplayer. This was a response to the adventure map, how to set one up for Minecraft 1.4.6 to 1.4.7. So if you've made your own server and you cannot join it, it says cannot connect to multiplayer and you're running either a .minecraft.net Minecraft server or a craft bucket you know, a bucket server. These are. This is what you need to make sure your server files say to make you connect. So, while I'm doing this, maybe follow along and make sure your server files say the same thing. First things first, we'll cover a dot uh, a Minecraft.net server. If you're running one, you, you would have installed it, and it would have installed it in your dot Minecraft folder. And um, for people who are new to the channel, I've got uh, uh, links to everything Minecraft related. But for everyone that's new, this is how you find your dot Minecraft folder. Percent sign app data percent sign and then press return and it opens up a folder called roaming you just want to click your dot minecraft and then you want to scroll down where it says server double click it and then find your server properties file double click that and then just make sure that your server port is set to 25565 this is the default server port 9 out of 10 people will have this set already the only reason it be changed is if you're maybe doing port forward and if this port's already getting used for something else Everything else is standard, everything on your screen should sort of say the same thing. I've got my online mode set to true. Um, if you have it as false, it means people who have cracked copies of Minecraft can join your server, but I've just kept it true just to... Just that's how I've got my set up. That you can find online loads what all of these things mean. A more in-depth tutorial on these things, but for the relevance of this tutorial, server port 25565, your server IP in this case is left blank. So if we now go run server, which is from Minecraft, this is the thing here. So do you want to run the server? We'll go yes. You'll see here now it's starting Minecraft server uh, on uh, number 25565. This means obviously you obviously have to have an internet connected to run a server. To my knowledge, uh, uh, this will only work if you've got an internet connection. Uh, but just that may also be an issue for some people if they've not got internet. So there we go, it's, uh, it's launching up, it's all done. Just need to sign in, so I've logged in, logging in. Let's keep it windowed. What about multiplayer? There we go. If I click it, it connects. There's my server. You can see I'm outside on the outside it's really. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning that is when I launch my bucket server, I'm in a completely different location, so you know it's two different servers around. So I now just do escape, let's disconnect it. You might be also thinking, how have I got this quick link button and what do these numbers at the bottom mean? I made this quick link by just doing add server, typing my server name, and then for my server address, I type in my IPv4 address, which you will need for your bucket server properties folder anyway. So I'll quickly show you um, how to find that. So if I now do, just to show you, if I do stop and then refresh, you see it can't reach the server. It says there can't reach server. Right, for a bucket server. You want to scroll, these are all maps, you won't have all these file folders, these are just all my maps that I've been making for different server experiments. You want to find, your, again, your server properties file, double click it, you'll notice you've got your level name, so whatever level I want to work on, I name my level it. For example, if I make a map called Wicked World, I'd, and then I make another map called Crazy World, if I wanted to log into Wicked World, I'd have to write in here Wicked World, and then Crazy World, so you've got to change the name if you want to join one of your different saves is in here as you can see these are all different maps uh, you want to make sure your server port is set to 25565 and lastly you want to make sure your server IP is your IPv4 address to find your IPv4 address this is what you do you go down to start go down to search or this, the box at the very bottom and type in CMD press return and then type in ipconfig that's config that doesn't mean anything ipconfig ipconfig I can't type there we go ipconfig and there we go the ipv4 address on my case yours might say a different number it might say the same it'll probably say something different but mine's is 192.168.1.8 that is 
what I then write in here and then like I was saying before that is what I wrote for when I was adding my server I added my IP 192.168.1.8 please note if you ever turn off your wireless router or whatever uh, that number at the end that 8 may, your whatever number yours says will probably change so if you have a power cut so say you're in your server and then you have a power cut and you try and connect and it says cannot connect make sure that this number hasn't changed in any way uh, so anyway if we now go to run bucket server the run bats here it will now run my bucket server and then if we then do refresh you see that's that and if you remember we were outside before this server to show you it's a completely different server I'm on now we're using a different server same map but different server uh, I am I am inside on this one so hopefully this helps you out hopefully this answers your questions on not being able to connect to your very own server if it has please don't forget to give it a like favorite you know share it on Facebook or whatever and subscribe to the channel and as always I have been Ben you've been awesome